here at uh, Westin Technology here at the HKTDC Fair. And you sell tablets. You have tablets here in the market. Yeah, we're, we've been manufacturing man uh, tablets for uh, over three, three years. Uh, we're the main account of uh, chipset manufacturers. So we are always uh, time to market with the latest uh, that uh, chipset manufacturers have to offer us. So uh, here it says quad core tablets ready. Quad core, dual core. So you have some dual core and some quad core here. Yeah. So dual core was available uh, early this year, uh, mainly uh, from Rockchip and Amlogic. Uh, what we're building inside is mainly Rockchip. Uh, uh, 3066. Yeah. So that's the one here, 3066 with a 2048 x 1536 screen. And that's this one. Yeah, that's the latest version of yeah. our uh, dual core. It's uh, Retina. It's, it's the Retina display. Alright. So, how much does it cost, Retina device it's like this? A Retina display would be uh, $18 more than an IPS panel. Okay. So, uh, in average, uh, it's about 160 US dollars. 160 US dollar? Yes. Uh, for how many order? Uh, uh, mostly uh, in this industry, it's always uh, 1,000 units. 1,000 units? Yeah. 160 dollar, you get dual core rock chip and you get uh, 20, uh, 2048 x 1536. That's correct. Resolution. And uh, standard memory, That's 8 correct. gigabytes, something like that. 4 to 8. 4, Four to, to 8. 8, yeah. And uh, then here you have quad core working. Yes. We so have the uh, Samsung Exynos uh, yeah. quad core CPU. And the uh, tested speed is from 1.4 gigahertz to 1.6 gigahertz, depending on your application. So did you make this PCB or some partner of you can make the PCB or how does it work? Uh, we lay out our PCB, uh, Samsung will provide us the uh, software, the firmware and then we would do the PC board. They would give, up, give us a uh, mock-up board and we would do some modifications on it. So um, it's fully stable? Right. They're both fully stable? Right. Like 100%, Android 4.1? No problem with that. Uh, yeah. Right now we're looking. We just uh, look into adding some possible features like GPS, Bluetooth, etc. Yeah. So how and much does that one cost? This is around 190 US dollars. 190. So it's 30 dollar more than Rockchip, right. and that's mostly because of the, the quad core CPU. Quad core, yeah, CPU. Quad core CPU. It's not like uh, it's not some more expensive RAM or more expensive. I don't know something else. It's. It's because of it's because of the brand name. Samsung obviously uh, they have a pretty good uh, quality control, and they live by their brand name. So uh, we have faith in uh, Samsung's uh, processors. It's the first time that we're yeah. implementing this uh, processor, but it's what uh, quad core is first available. So we're always up to the latest uh, technology. Later on, we'll be having uh, all winner quad core products. So this is. Uh you can see it's very smooth and it's yeah. very fast. And, uh, so this is 32 nanometer, 32 nanometer process node, right. and this is uh, 45, 45 or 55, yeah, 45. 45. Uh, so that might help with the price as well. It's more expensive process, I guess, yeah, to make. Right. And uh, how about this? This is the uh, the latest chipset from MediaTek. It's uh, 6577. The model number is 6577. It's a dual core processor. Uh, basically, they are both uh, dual SIM cards with dual standby. And the ma the major difference is the uh, the display size. The display size is one is 5.3 and one is 5 inch. And this one has a higher res resolution, which is 9 960 times 540. So how much does a phone device like this cost? It's around 118 to 120 US dollars for FOB. But that's awesome. Yeah, it is. It is. How many are being sold right now in the market? Uh, from you or from others or? We've been, we, we sell around uh, 330k per, per quarter. 30k per quarter, like similar to this yeah. kind of device? Uh, and uh, you sell more tablets or more phones? Of course we sell more tablets. More tablets? tablets. So tablets is a bigger market for you? Yes it is. But how big is the market for MTK, MT, um, 
6577, how big do you think it's going to be the next few months? It's going the whole to, market. It's going to be the trend. It's going to be the trend. I mean, with, uh, with Samsung doing all the marketing for us, for example, with Galaxy Note S2, S3, Note, uh, the new version, it's going to be, everybody would want to have a similar product but at a uh, cheaper and more uh, affordable price. So, it's going to hit the market, uh, it's going to be vast. Sam nice. Samsung is doing a great job, right? They're number one, They're the number and one. smartphone, they overtook Apple so fast, right. they, and they, this is good for Android. Right. And uh, so, uh, you know, we're just uh, following uh, the mar marketing strategy of Samsung. I mean, we don't want a brand name, but uh, we just, in, in terms of a manufacturer, we just need uh, volume. And uh, how about the, the, what do you say, the design? Is it fully, like, kind of like, uh, uh, separate from what Samsung is doing? It's, I mean, uh, uh, if you want to legally be able to sell it in Europe and USA, it's not, it's not, it's not copying uh, like any aspect of the camera or anything. No, no. You can no? Just look at the back. The camera is all totally different. The yeah. camera is all different, and the uh, the thickness is different. And we would avoid all uh, license issues. Yeah. That was something uh, worry free. Because that's kind of like a problem that I see when I go to Shenzhen. It's very difficult to find a phone that's not exactly copying HTC or Samsung, but you are, you are doing a, a, an effort to not try to do that. That's right. Because... Uh, but still I mean, we also need to keep uh, a little bit uh, attached to their design. That's where, that's how it sells. Because, I mean, the size, I mean, uh, of course the even, size is going to copy, it's similar size. Even when we don't want to be a copycat, our customers will want us to make something that is similar. Similar? Yeah. F people have to, have to be familiar. Yeah, that's right. All right. But where do you put the brand? It could be anywhere? Uh, it's mostly at the back. Could be somewhere here? Yeah, at the back. And different color? Yes. So this is, uh, this is 5.3 and this is? 5 inch. 5 inch. How much is that one? That is around 112, 112 US dollars to 116 US dollars. All right. So what do you think the retail price could be for these kinds of devices? Normally you would multiply it by 1.5. 1 1.5? 1 yeah. So maybe 189 or 199 maybe? All right. Or maybe 149 if somebody goes crazy. Yeah. All right.